Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, overnight, and mainly early this morning, is the Australian dollar surged and took out the level of 71.20, which was the 60-day moving average, and now, this morning, takes on the challenge around 71.50.65. Along with the US dollar plummeting, the Federal Reserve kept interest rates earlier this morning after its announcement that interest rates will remain on hold for some time. It is assessed, though, from the um, statement this morning, is that the US Federal Reserve is likely to keep the rates on hold most probably throughout this year. It was only three months ago when the central bank projected two rate hikes for 2019, but now this looks all different and changed after the Jerome Powell indicated that he was happy to keep rates on hold. So looking at the Australian dollar, we're now changing this level around 50.65. Let's see if the market can sustain. I'm a little bit sceptical at these levels because we are overbought. And if the supply does return heavily, then we should see the market plummet back towards the region of 70.85 to 95. But do keep on your guard. It stops around 71.80 to 95. Looking at the euro, the market took out the resistance of 113.55 and surged to a high this morning of 114.47 before backing away. It is assessed that resistance is around 114.45.65 and I do expect to see the market retreat from this region and look back to the lower side of 113.30 to 45. From a technical point, we are overbought and I do expect to see the market retreat from this region. For those trading dollar yen, well, you're nearly at your target. As you can see here, once I close this up, is the fact is that objective was around 110.20.25 and still remains exposed. I do expect from a technical point that we could see further weakness and therefore see the challenge and reassess from 110.20 as we could be looking at 109.55. It is also viewed that the rejection from the top side of the range here is also putting further pressure on dollar yen with the resistance now at 110.95.205. The pound took a bit of a serious fall overnight along with the weaker US dollar. The British Prime Minister Theresa May has told the public she is on their side, laying the blame for the delay to the Brexit squarely with the MPs. Speaking from Downing Street, the Prime Minister said people were tired of infighting and political games, and it was high time politicians decided on the next steps. So we'll see how this all turns out. Theresa May is trying to push the date now from the end of the month to the 30th of June. So let's see if she can extend the Brexit. At the moment, I see a range of 131.65 to 132.65. The gold pushes higher and now surges up towards a high of 13.16 and is assessed at further risk is to the upside and exposes a region of 24 as a potential target. Any pullback should find support at 10. And rounding up with oil, well, the market is now close to its objective of $61 a barrel. It is assessed that further strength should emerge with the measured move given from this inverse head and shoulders to $64 as a target. But initially for now, let's look at 61 because we are getting to an overbought stage. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interesting report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.